Now we're going to be tying an Irish wet fly now. These are tied for the locks of Ireland and uh, they're normally fished when there's a when the Irish boys like a good wind, good wave, and this type of fly works extremely well. Now the bumble style flies are basically mainly hackles, they're all hackle types, and there's many colour combinations, best known being the golden olive bumble and the uh, claret bumble. Uh, this is a, a variant, it's got a bit of fiery brown, a bit of golden olive, so this is a, a nice variant. It's, uh, it's one of the patterns I tie for a friend that lives in Ireland. Now the hook choice is up to yourself really, but I'm using the competition heavyweight in this case, this one here. And it's a black nickel version, you can use the bronze, it's up to yourself. We start, we use a yellow thread, a uni thread, 8 0. Now we start at the eye, and we're going to work our way down. Remove the base piece. Now we tie in the way down some red holographic tinsel. Just a nice red holographic, a medium size is like a normal I'd like to use for this fly. Now, as you come round, well you normally you would stop in line with the barber hook. Because I'm forming a small tag, I'm going to come round about 2 mil or so and then come back up. Now, to protect this, we touch a super glue. And wind over this. And this will hold the tinsel. You could varnish over the top as well. And we can catch this in. Just trim at the full length of the, the body. The tail, when we tie in a, I'll show you the, this is, a gold, this is a golden pheasant crest, a part of it anyway, which I've dyed sunburst just to give it a, a boost in the colour. Tail length, now I've tied these long and short, I mean in balance with the fly, normally you would say body length. So I'm going to catch this in here, on the top. Now just check your tail length, make sure it's okay, you're happy with it. And then I'm going to wind up, just basically tidying this area up. It's going to be a dubbed body so it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. And we can trim away the waste. Just make sure there's not any long fibres there. Now the way back down, I'm going to tie in an oval gold tinsel, sketch it on the side and then wind it down, so all the way back. Just then I'm going to double in some seals for, just going to use a, it's a blend actually, uh, you'll see there it's a gold olive and sunburst blend, it's like a gold and yellow, it's a lovely colour. Don't be shy with the dubbing, just onto your thread, slide it up, make sure you start where you want. As your anchor point you can twist the dubbing and tighten up if you need, and as you wind up you can basically form a nice body. So you get, I mean you're at least, gonna, at least two and a half mil or so from the eye, to give you plenty of room, because I'm going to tie in two hackles for the body. The two hackles is a standard yellow, it's a Chinese cock hackle and a golden olive. We, get, we want them both the same length and then we tie them in at the bottom, the butts, and remove the fibre. There's are both at the same length. We catch these on. Now it's important that we have a wax on here just to give you that wee bit of extra grip. Trim away the waste. It's going to wind by hand. Now turn at the top. And then come down. Now, if you really want a heavy fly, you can do a bit more. But there's into the it's, uh, the third turn or so down the body over the oval tinsel. And then you're looking maybe about five turns the way up. Draw back any fibers going forward. Catch this in. And then we can secure it in with the thread. Again, if you touch a wax on your thread, will give you a lot more grip. And then we can trim away, don't need. We can break these off. And then we tie in fiery brown to the fibre length. Just checking this one. Should we check it slightly longer? Now I want better part, or the better colour, I want the sharper colour. This part is the, the, the hackle at the front. So we tie it in this, this time at the tip. Just because I want the best, the, a good part of the good colour of the hackle. 
I'm folding it back as you can see. And then there's the tip to keep the thread tight, we can break that off. To fold the hackle, what we can use is the tip of the scissors and run it along the edge. Just get the, the, oh, the edge of your scissors and we can hear it. This is the leading side of the, the hackle, the side that's going onto the head side and onto the shank of the hook. We start it off and then we wind down, nice neat turns. Now the you can put jungle cock on the fly, it's up to yourself. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put split eye actually, I'm just gonna get an eye and split it. You see there's plenty of hackle there. I'll we'll cross your thread. A good three or four turns in. Now again a bit of wax on there. Gives you a lot more grip. Strengthens the thread, the wax. Then we can break that off. And there's like a, basically a bubble now. Another thing you can do is add legs. Now the legs I'm going to be adding is a basically these are it's a dyed like a claret. Now I'm going to take fly this so you could be three either side. So I'm going to bring out six legs and then just make sure the tips have lined up. Just run your fingers through and tear them away from the feather. Now, these are I knotted these myself. You can pre knot the the, these fibres using a crochet needle or you can buy them already done length is again it's up to yourself so I'm going to have three to either side now the tips of the legs just slightly by the tail now we can come in nice and tight you can fold these back tidy up then we can the thread been waxed, you can actually break these off. As long as you keep the thread nice and tight and they'll sit for you. You can see there. Now I'm going to get a jungle cock eye. Just a, I've always got plenty of split eyes, or small eyes. And here's a perfect eye for, you can look there, it's there. It's got a perfect split right down the middle. And all I do is encourage it, so I encourage it apart, split it further down. And then draw back the fibres I don't need. Now just basically offer it either side. Hold them where you want in position. So at this point just check. And then we can fold it back for security. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour the thread using a red marker pen. So I'm just going to colour it up. So you fold back the jungle cock. Nice and tight. You can put finish. You can trim away with a thread. You can break this off or cut it away to yourself. And there we are. Quite a simple fly to tie. Then for speed what I like to do is touch a super glue all the way around. Just touch the head, be careful you don't touch the fibres. And allow that to dry. And then a coat of varnish and that's your fly finished. And there we are. That's a, basically a, a, a variant of the golden olive bumble. Well, we, we always, we're always adding legs all the time now, as you can see. It does add a wee bit of traction to the fly. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>